When Americans have faced insurmountable challenges, they have called upon God for help, and miracles have followed. When the Plymouth Pilgrims faced a devastating drought, they set apart a day to fast and pray for rain. They prayed all day without a cloud in the sky. Then by evening, for the first time in months, a gentle rain fell on their plantation, which lasted for the next two weeks. When 70 French warships were coming to destroy New England, a day of fasting and prayer was held. Reverend Thomas Prince stood before hundreds and prayed, Send thy tempest, Lord, upon the water. Scatter the ships of our tormentors. Suddenly the sky darkened with clouds. The wind shrieked, causing church bells to ring. The storm sank and scattered the entire fleet. Near the beginning of the Revolutionary War, the Continental Congress declared a day of fasting and prayer for all the English colonies on this continent. John Adams wrote, We have appointed a continental fast. Millions will be upon their knees at once before their great Creator. These calls for prayer continued throughout the Revolutionary War, and miracles followed. When the Americans attempted to escape from Long Island by crossing the river at night, the morning light was about to expose them when a thick fog suddenly concealed them until they had finished crossing. Major Ben Talmadge wrote, As the dawn of the next day approached, those of us who remained in the trenches became very anxious for our own safety. At this time, a very dense fog began to rise off the river. I recollect this peculiar providential occurrence perfectly well. When the Americans were retreating after the Battle of Cowpens, after crossing the Catawba River, a sudden storm came, flooding the river and slowing the British who were in pursuit. During this retreat, the same miracle repeated itself at two other rivers. British General Henry Clinton wrote, Here the Royal Army was again stopped by a sudden rise of the waters, which had only just fallen, almost miraculously, to let the enemy over. When the British tried to escape by crossing the York River, a sudden powerful storm crashed down upon them and forced the British Army to surrender, ending the revolution. Lieutenant Colonel Tarleton wrote, a squall attended with rain scattered the boats and impeded their return. Thus expired the last hope of the British Army. Time and time again, the miracle of sudden and dramatic changes of weather consistently favored the American cause. These were just a few examples. George Washington said that every step seems to have been distinguished by some token of providential agency. Our national anthem states, Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven-rescued land praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. In other words, heaven rescued America, blessed us with victory and peace, and God made and preserves us as a nation. In God we trust is the national motto of the United States of America. Our national motto, anthem, monuments, and founding documents appeal to God for our peace prosperity, protection, and liberty. Today, these survive as relics, but they were born from times of struggle, faith, and miracles. At the heart of our American heritage is the tradition of calling upon God and trusting Him in the face of impossible odds. Abraham Lincoln said, We have grown in numbers, wealth, and power as no other nation has ever grown Intoxicated with unbroken success, we have become too proud to pray to the God that made us. Though that heritage has faded, I believe it can be revived again, and I am determined to do what I can to help. To start, I have tried to give new life to the song, My Country, Tis of Thee. The final verse contains a prayer for our nation. Think about the meaning of the words as you listen. My country tis of thee Sweet land of liberty Of thee I see land
to encourage groups and communities to sing and pray this song. I've made the lyric video available for free, and also the sheet music for choir and orchestra. You can also participate in a collaboration video by recording yourself singing this song. The final video will hopefully portray hundreds of people of all different backgrounds uniting our voices in prayer for America. This is a simple way that we can help revive the American heritage of calling upon God for the blessings of liberty. Visit the links in the description for details. And may God bless America.